it is now officially Halloween week, and all of the kids are getting their costumes <laughs> ready, and parents are getting the coats ready to cover them up. <laughs> Basically. And we, and we do not like that. You know, the timing know. of this system, it's not great, so maybe uh, we might see some adjustments with some community okay. trick-or-treat time just based on some early outlooks. Good to know. So, just planning ahead for that. I want you to be prepared for the entire week, so let's start with the good news. Let's start with tomorrow, when it will be sunny and 70. Really can't get much better than that, and I say tomorrow. I know it's technically 12 4, but you know what I mean. Monday. Monday, it's going to be nice. The best day of the week. We get into Tuesday, and that's when we bring in one of several frontal systems that's going to increase our cloud cover, also bring in a stray shower. The rain becomes more widespread into Wednesday, and then come Thursday, Halloween, Rain looks to be pretty widespread, so let's get you out the door as we head out on a Monday morning. Areas of fog are going to be a possibility early tomorrow, and that's because we still have a lot of moisture left around from all that rain on Saturday, so that could potentially translate into that. I want you to be prepared for it. Lower 40s early on were mostly sunny into the rest of the morning and quickly going to rebound back near 50 by 10 a.m., and temperatures on their way back into the lower 70s. We'll go 70 for a high in Indy, 70 in Shelbyville, and 70 in Muncie. I know that says highs today, but that's because all my weather graphics have moved on to the next day since we're after midnight, so keep that in mind. Monday's high near 70. And we are now into the peak color changes for our fall foliage. This week is going to be the best for central Indiana and as far as the days to get out to get the best fall pictures. Tomorrow is really looking like the pick of the week. We stay mostly clear through the afternoon. Temperatures recovering back into the 70s. Skies stay clear for the most part. Now we will start to see some changes later in the day. And that is as our next weather system rolls in. So I want to pick up Future Track 13 as we get into our Tuesday. This system really not going to bring much in the way of rain, but certainly more cloud cover, cooler temperatures behind that front, and the potential that we might see a stray shower on Tuesday. The more widespread rain, though, going to move in as we get into our Wednesday. So already noticing here, looking ahead at Wednesday afternoon, Rain is going to become widespread. This is your forecast for Tuesday, though. Again, a stray shower, and you'll notice nowhere near as warm as what we're expecting for Monday. 59 around noon, falling to 55 behind that front. Rain continues to take over. This is as we advance on into our Halloween. A center of low pressure, this uh, rather strong storm system, brings in widespread showers through our Thursday afternoon. And there is a chance that this will start to linger as we get into our Thursday evening. So trick-or-treat forecast this year might include some rain gear. 53 at 6 p.m. This is next Thursday evening, falling into the 40s as that weather system departs. And it's going to turn much cooler looking ahead at the latter part of the week. So 70 for Monday, 60 for Tuesday, 53 as we get into Wednesday. Temperatures will hold steady in the upper 40s, lower 50s on Thursday. Numbers fall through the course of the day behind that front. And then we're talking overnight lows near freezing to get Friday started. Daytime high is only going to be in the 40s looking ahead at the first few days of November. So preparing for a big time change toward the end of the week. If you're a fan of the warmer weather, take advantage of tomorrow. Again, sunny and 70 for Monday.